Yo, what's up guys, Hastings 543 here, just giving a little tutorial on how to burn and, you know, play your Xbox 360 games. Um, you know, if you copy them, I do not endorse piracy in any way. I've actually ripped these games from um, my actual official Xbox, you know, games. I've just ripped them off and I'm just going to make backups of them just in case something happens in the future. Um, you're going to need two programs for this, and that is Image Burn, which I'll provide a link for in the description, and ABGX360, which I'll also provide a link in the description for. Um, once you've, you know, first ripped your disc or downloaded it, if you have downloaded it, you should end up, you should start with this file here. I'm going to move that to the desktop. That file there. This file is the actual game right and this other one is what will come out once we've used abgx 360 so i'm just going to create another little folder called before and i'm going to drag the game into there there it is um, now what you need to do is just open abgx 360 um, open go to your desktop or wherever it's based and go to the before folder or whatever you called it and open up you know your ISO you know come up with this uh, quickly just go to options make sure all of this is checked um, that should have nothing checked on it on auto fix change um, auto fix threshold from level 2 up to level 3 so if you're going online with your backups and other stuff like that you won't get banned well you won't ca there's less of a chance of them catching you if you get what I mean um, on miscellaneous um, just checking your console's region code I'm you know from UK so I just use PAL Europe click OK and you click launch yeah, it'll just come up with that. And it just scans through your game and there you go then. It just does that happily. Now I just want to take this time to say thank you to for all my 250 subscribers. You have been a massive help. And once we reach a thousand, I will do a giveaway. Yes, I'm promising you now. So remember to subscribe for that giveaway soon. Hopefully within the next couple of months. Hey, eh? yeah. So this just takes like a minute or so, and you know once it's done, it's gonna patch all like the you know stuff inside, make it stealth, so you can go online and whatever. See, so yeah, I'm um, I'm doing a um, copy of NASCAR, the game 2011. Even tells you how much game score you can get. That's pretty good. That it says 40 achievements totaling <laughs> thousand game score. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That I never noticed that up until now. And it tells you the original region code up there. So you see, it's in SD. You know, NTSC from you no know, the USA. I got a USA console. So I'm just doing this for my brother. Yeah, 77, 78, 79. Okay, it's almost completed now. Doesn't take as long as it actually says on the estimated time it's like I don't know that long. But if you have an SSD or something like that, an SDD sort of stage, right? No, SSD. It should do it and God knows how long. It's just only, you know, like a second, probably. I mean, to be honest, for a spinning hard drive, 63 megs isn't that bad. Um, yeah, so now it's finished. All CRCs match. Verica verification was successful. Just click any key. Um, go to the folder, you know, before folder, and you should now have a .dvd file. I know it doesn't say .dvd on there, but that's what it is. It might go on yours, it might not. Anyway, this is where you need to open up Image Burn. Just go into, yeah, you like my Back to the Future game. <laughs> Um, yeah, just double click on Image Burn wherever you have it, you know. And it'll load up Image Burn. But before you do anything, 
go tools, settings, go to right and make sure on user specified no matter what you need to make sure that this is set to sectors in LO in level O I don't know what it is you need to set it to 1913760 no matter what it won't work if you don't do this click OK and um, click right image to disk and browse for you know your disk I did Modern Warfare 3 earlier let me just also mention that you do need a hack console for this it will not work on any old console you can't just put the disk in and expect it to work um, now it's you know now, you know you've located your file you need to click on the .dvd file not the ISO the .dvd file because it just contains some stuff that it needs to know so just click on open on that make sure your write speed is about 2.4 nothing more than that um, because you know you might get bad burn or something like that and it always works best when you have it at 2.4 now just click burn this normally takes probably about 20 minutes 40 minutes at the most and you know it's just making sure everything's fine and make sure your write rate is at 2.4 I'm just going to pause the video now come back to you around when it's you know just about finished right so guys it's just been um, 40 minutes it's taken this which isn't really bad you know it's gonna burn it fine you know and you know I would recommend verify verifying it but I'm not gonna go on this instance because I'm just gonna show you you know the game works and I haven't really got the time to it should eject it now if um, you know if everything's gone right I'm not really the one to ask if something has gone wrong. Um, just you know, just go Google the error, and you know, should get whatever. Um, it, you know, take some time to finalise the disk. Um, shouldn't be that long. And then it should open your DVD tray. Um, try and get the disk out before it verifies it. If you haven't untaped it on a laptop, it won't do it. You know, because it can't pull it back in. So you're pretty good if you've got a laptop doing this, like me. <coughs> In a minute, I'm just gonna switch to my um, camera and show you that it has worked, you know, and it working on the Xbox. You know, so yeah, let's wait for the disc to eject, see if nothing's gone wrong. Right and it has worked all attempt the you know this is what you get if you're on a laptop don't matter uh, just click OK and if you're gonna verify it you know throw the drive back in throw the you know push the drive back in hey presto other than that that's finished your game's fine if everything's gone to plan you should take it out and I'll show you what it does when it's in your Xbox so right guys, I just took the disc out of my Xbox, uh, you know, it's just a standard dual layer disc. And I'm just going to show you, you know, that it works in the Xbox. I'm not going to start the game up, I haven't got enough time. I'm, you know, it's supposed to go in in a minute. So yeah, the console. Right, sorry to say, but I am a PS3 lover. I don't, I, you know, I prefer PS3 to Xbox. Sorry for you, you know, Xbox fanboys. I'll be on live if you want. Look for playing some COD, and there you go. Play NASCAR the game. I ain't got time to show you that, you know, it works, but it will work. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to uh, comment, like, you know, favourite it. You liked it that much. Hell, even PM me if you liked it. Be a real great help. Um, you know, also subscribe. There's loads more videos like this um, coming at my channel. So yeah, thanks. Um, see you later then. Yeah, thanks.